everybody! Welcome back to another land place. Slay the Spire. We're gonna do a daily. I know I talked about Ascension. Here's the thing. Daily's only been running for 23 minutes. I can tell you right off the bat. By the way, we're gonna, I think, mix dailies and Ascensions willy-nilly. It's kind of the way I'm thinking about it right now. Let me know how you feel about that in the comments below. The fact that we're 23 minutes in and there's like eight scores indicates to me it's a very easy daily. If it was a hard daily, there would probably be a lot more losses, I think. The wins existing within 23 minutes is kind of crazy. So yeah, I think it's probably an easy one today. Lots of people still doing it. Hey, Skyjaws, thanks for the subscription. Too bad it's Brewmaster. Brewmaster is actually fine. And like, Cursed Run is good. Lethality is also good. Um, I think Brewmaster is fine as long as you don't have Hoarder. It's Brewmaster plus Hoarder that aggravates people and deservedly so. So yesterday was the lowest score I think I've ever had on a win. Hello, Tomo. One, two. Three? Three if you take the center path? Yeah, okay. I don't mind. I hate uh, that we have to go to a shop so early, but maybe we can buy something good. And we are the defect. Uh, I think I'm just gonna smack ya. And we have four energy because of Cursed. I'm glad I made the mistake early. Let's try to put a positive spin on it. I'm glad I made the mistake early. We only need two attacks to get a kill here. One dual cast. Almost gets us there. We will... Don't pop that yet. See what you get from this first. That'll work. I don't know how you build a, a run like this with the defect. I guess we'll see as time goes on. I think we can afford to channel Frost because Frost is like a block. I mean, it's literally a block, but we don't have too much block potential so far. I think let's take a Glacier. Normally, I'd also take Beam Cell and Claw. I think I will still take Beam Cell. Claw is also, uh, it's a good card, I think, at least. We're not necessarily building an all-for-one deck. It's just, you know, this is good, even not in an all-for-one deck, because it's, like, the greatest card you could ever ask for. Um, I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you. That's easy enough. No reason to dual cast. No reason to pop a power card, either. So far, this seems like it's working out pretty well. We're gonna dump the fairy in a bottle. I'm a fairy in a bottle, baby. Got a dumb me to take a better potion. That's not the real lyrics, but those are the lyrics I'm going to choose to use. Um, None of these are great right now, but honestly, if we use Bias Cognition, uh, we at least get six block, and we could get more if we wanted to. Uh, let's see what we get here. All for one is enough to get a kill. You're doing nine damage. Personally... I like that setup right there. We take none. We get five block next turn for free, which is also fine. It doesn't, not that it matters. Obviously, this is a very good start so far. Thorns is really good, but I'm going to keep the regen potion for now. I'm also going to go hologram. Use hologram most of the time to snag zero cost stuff. Molten egg is incredible. But unfortunately, we are going to be stuck with that curse. And it's innate, right? Yeah. So we choose when to pop on this one. We might pop turn one. Once you pop the fun, don't stop as well. Uh, we're not going to pop turn one. Are we going to pop on turn two? We have no attacks. <laughs> we're not necessarily likely to get more attacks next turn, though. So, okay, let's for three. And then you got some orbs. We can save that for next turn. If we play this on him, he's going to wake up. If we play this on him, he's going to wake up. So we'll wait one more turn. Now we've got a full suite of orbs, which is maybe what we were looking for. Now we are going to use one right away. So we're going to toss this on you. Dual cast for 16. I think we can afford to use the steroid potion. Strike, strike. That's really good damage, turn one. Wait, did we have an artifact? We did, so we got to keep all of the strength from steroids? No, we got to keep one of the strength from steroids. I'm trying to run it through, because we start with three because of lethality, and then there's one from Duvu Doll. We only had one steroid potion. Why did I think I got two steroid potions there? Okay, cool-headed. It's one of the rare uh, fights 
where I actually think we could totally do like, for example, a hologram glacier. Um, I think we could play super defensively and not have it be a problem whatsoever. Most of the time you want to kill this guy quickly. This is really... Well, we didn't need to play it, but still. Um, usually we would play that a little bit more defensively, but it, it worked out pretty well. Or sorry, we'd play a little bit more offensively. Sorry, I just beat Resident Evil 7. My brain's full of mold gloop from finishing that game. I'm trying to decompress with some Slay the Spire. Um, Melter is pretty good damage. I think, you know, one Melter might make the second floor a little easier. A lot of those enemies have block and are extremely annoying as a result. Uh... And it does 18 damage. Do it like this. If we can kill him next turn, we'd be happier to do so. Um, so this... You know... That's pretty good here. We haven't taken any damage over the course of the entire run so far, which is kind of amazing. Energy. I think we can afford to dump regen. And honestly, I mean, glaciers are almost never going to be sad. Uh, we're never going to be sad to see them, I should say. So let's pop strength. Uh, let's pop focus because we can. We don't really need the alchemize here. So I guess we'll just smack them. This is going to be a little painful, though. This guy's a pain in the butt. If we can get through this without taking any damage, that would be incredible. I'm like, okay. Try this. Hologram, Glacier, Melter. Take a turn off at some point in your life, please. 21, 23. So we're good. We'll strike. Are we still good? Should be. Still gotta do 40 damage, though. So we could choose... Well, actually, one block puts us in a really good spot here, but let's start there. Aggregate is not good here. That is decent, though. Let me think. 12, 19, 22 versus 23. No, 24. We have 24. Don't even play... Actually, you can play Zap and get out of it. 27. Yeah, we're good. So that's another 5 damage because of the Focus Potion. We still have Buffer active. Got him. So far... So good. I mean, what can you say? We are kind of accidentally building... Oh, too many innate curses. Uh, so we'll go to the shop and remove one. But we're accidentally building like a... Uh... Ugh. Uh, an all-for-one deck. And the reason I do that is because it's really good and it works and I love it. And if you got a problem with it, you can just frig off. I made a terrible mistake. He's going to split, isn't he? No, he's one away from splitting. And that's why you should stay in school and do better in math class. The irony being, I actually did okay in math class. You know what? Torch him. And by okay, I mean... <laughs> if uh, 51's bad, I don't want to be good. Whenever you play a power channel, one lightning. Nah, 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 nah. Give me the leap. All right, so we're going to remove one of our innate curses. I see the Mind Blast. I am not tempted. I am tempted by this, but we can't afford it. <laughs> bring, bring. Um, no, you know, I shouldn't play into the stereotype uh, that, that some people have that I'm an idiot. I did very well in school. Apparently, I was able to trick the teachers into thinking I knew what I was doing. You guys are doing so much damage. 25. That hurts. So reinforced body is fine. Seventeen damage. I'm basically just crunching the numbers of how we're gonna not take damage. We can play one. Ah, we might as well just reinforce body. I mean, this guy will be dead for sure. You're probably dead as well. We got, like, potential beyond perfect roll in here, though. So I'm trying not to mess it up. The bosses might be a little bit of a different story. I can't say for certain yet, but... The, uh... The elites have been pretty easy so far. 
Okay. Uh, we might as well pop the energy, even though now we are happy with it. But for a second there, it was looking a little spotty. So give me cool headed. Charge battery. Ten. We'll just leap. Doesn't matter if we roll any energy over, cause, or if we uh, play them or don't play them, I should say. Thirteen. All right. Thirteen. We'll play Glacier. It's a pretty, like, snap play most of the time. We already have enough block. This will help out as well. And we won't play dual cast. It's unnecessary. But really, we need to start smacking them. And I actually think that a steroid potion is fine to use here. 13 life. So he's going to... We'll get the uh, lightning orb up at the front. Not that it matters because he's dead to that. Good point. <laughs> Brain's all like, it's not Slay the Spire up right now. We already killed this guy. I'm glad we don't have to fight the uh, the other lords. Let's try this. I think we'd like to have White Noise, just to see what we get. Heat Sinks is going to be next to useless. Yeah, I think this is a good start. Hopefully we attack next turn. It's not great. It's still not very good. I think we're probably going to dump the fairy in a jar. I thought I dumped it! Here's the thing. I know we have a beam cell. We have other beam cells in the deck. I'm just hoping for a better turn, please. And we didn't get it, to be honest. So I'm going to... I'm going to hologram... Beam cell... Strike. It's not even worth dual casting. It's just a it's a weak turn. This is gonna be a tough one. So far. Beam cell. Finally we get Melter. How are we gonna take no damage? Very good question. That's not gonna help. That's not gonna help. So we're gonna take our first hits here. 12 damage. Not that bad, but pains me ever so slightly, nonetheless. Still a pretty easy kill. Bottled Flame. What do we want to start with? Probably a Beam Cell. Most of the time I'd have to think that's the right call. Uh, FTL is the easiest choice I've ever made in my entire life. We are not going to rest here. Too vulnerable for free. Oh, we do only have one Beam Cell. I thought I bought more. My mistake. Um, we're going to make it do too vulnerable. It means we can lay it in on one turn without it feeling like a waste. If we don't have any other attacks. Just pop it. Pop it. Mm, don't use that yet. You can deploy that tactically at a later date. Same with this. Beam cell. Hologram. Beam cell. I guess if it's the way it's got to go, it's the way it's got to go. Four turns of vulnerability. I was waiting for a melter, but it's okay. 84 life. Full sweep of orbitals. And by orbitals, I mean uh, orbs. It's not that different. The Isaac terminology sort of works. Now I think you go to town. Smack him. Smack him. And I think absolutely it's worth the poison as well. Two enemies with 17 life. Not quite in one hit range, but pretty close. That was really good. I'm so glad we didn't rest. Um, Electrodynamics is pretty great. Just to take care of the riffraff, you can no longer gain gold. <sighs> I'm going to do it. I still think it's the best relic just because energy is so valuable. But uh, I hate losing out on gold. That's maybe like my third least favorite of the, uh, of the energy relics. I hate Velvet Choker. That should be obvious. But I'm trying to think. Velvet Choker. Enemies get three... Oh, not being able to see enemy intense. That's really bad. Anyway. One, two, three. Okay. Three in a shop is probably the way we want to go. Three in two shops. That way we can remove these uh, innate curses. I don't care about the other curses. I know we got one, but... Decay. It's not that bad. It does kind of ruin our... Like, we had a perfect thing going on. And it, that means we don't have to rest as much, which is important, but... Dude, give me Melter. No Melt? No Melt? It's getting a little absurd. You know what? 
No melter? No melter. Melt is still good here. I'm just saying, like, if you got a melter, I should be able to use it. I'm a little... You know, the game's kind of... It's tilted me a little bit. Not letting me use my, my hard-earned melter. We're guaranteed to take two damage. There's nothing we can do about the K. Just, oh! Two damage is not the same as two HP. Ah, finally. Melter, when there's no block. Still dead. I don't think we want any more innate cards. I think the cool headed is working out okay. Steam Barrier, I also have come to realize that I think I underrated this item. 16. Well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I've come to realize I've underrated it. Even if you get to play it two or three times, that's a huge value. If you can get all for one to, to grab it when you need it. So we're not going to be hit with the, uh, the Day's Curse. 13 damage. We need to put up 9 if possible. Too weak is pretty valuable. But you're a fool. Look at that. You accidentally left yourself in a position where you might have taken damage. Would have taken damage. Dude, FTL is very strong. For now, at least. I think I know we could have taken a real, like a good steam barrier before, but I'm going to take it here anyway. I talked myself into it. I do like max HP. I, I love Cold Snap. If we take Cold Snap, we won't be able to get max HP, but that probably doesn't matter. I'm going to go Cold Snap, Juzu Bracelet. I'm a little worried. I don't know if I... I guess we don't have a little chest, so it's not like we're going to get treasure. So, And accidentally get too many curses. Oh, by the way, do you ever think about like removing uh, curses from your deck? Don't be silly. <laughs> Why would I ever do that with my literal zero gold? Okay, yeah, take Ritual Dagger. As long as we've got the HP, I think Ritual Dagger is worth it. And Necronomicon, I'm trying to think, do we even have a two energy attack right now? We might not. So the curses are going to stack up, unless we get the thing that allows us to remove all... Uh, remove all curses from your deck, just by drinking some, some little old water. Mm, you're not attacking yet. I, I thank the Lord you're not attacking yet. Okay. It basically worked. I'm a little nervous, though. We got Dex and uh, Block for the next turn, but we'd really like Weakness. So Hologram uh, and, I mean, Glacier is also a good potential option, but go for the eyes. Saved us 24 damage. No, it saved us 12 damage. So you're doing 33. We're at 19. That's 31. Okay. We barely got to the perfect, but because of bias cognition, we will get there. But we want to go, like, absolutely buck wild on this guy as soon as possible. And, yeah, thank God we got all these glaciers. That's going to make it happen. We're running out of focus pretty quickly here. It doesn't matter if it's a minion, so... There you go. Good attack, please. <sighs> we had no zero cost cards. So I feel like we made the right choice going for high damage. Because if we had gone for um, scrape, we would have drawn nothing of value. We might have shuffled and, and potentially drawn one card of value now that I think about it. But... Anyway, we got through it. Again, it's another perfect. Feeling good. Please give me an attack that costs two or more so I can actually take advantage of Necronomicon. Strawberry. Glacier. It's not a... It's not an attack. It does cost two or more. I'd love to double it. Look, dude, I don't have $75 to give you. That doesn't make me a bad person. Today. I think we might be able to kill this guy. That's incredible. And I think I'm going to start working on you with potions. Uh, I really still would like... I am a fool. I would like the ability to... Uh... 
remove these curses from our deck. Because, like, of course we would, but... I don't know if we're ever going to have the option. So I guess, like, thickening the deck is one way to mitigate whatever problems we might have as a result of that. Honestly, we've been holding this explosive potion for so long. To get some value out of it is good. Dude, oh, it's under... Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I don't think Sunder is always that good, but I think it's great in this situation. Alright, these guys are going to be a pain in the butt, so we're going to pop rege uh, regen for sure. And uh, let's pop everything. And then from the Alchemize, draw or block? Okay, it's kind of block. 16, so we're going to take, f we're gonna take 20. I would be more uh, mad about that if there was anything we could have done to stop it. In the moment, at least. That was pretty lucky. Uh, we're weak, so we're only taking, we're only doing nine damage. Might rather put up as much block as possible. We're still gonna take. We're gonna take zero. No, we're gonna take. No, we're gonna take zero. Yeah. Okay, Sunder is incredible. And should give us energy back. And did indeed. I just don't know if I gotcha. I don't think I gotcha. Even if we played Glacier to evoke, I don't think we have you. So this is not going to be a perfect elite fight. But dude, for now, I feel like we're kind of like still in the mix. Like we could potentially still rank really well on today's run. I'm singing bowl when I don't want the uh, when I don't want the items. There's really no point, sadly, for us to go to the shop. Draw two. Drawing two is pretty good. Hologram not exhausting though. Yeah, it's probably a because you can always use that. Here's the thing: hologram is like five block plus steam barrier, five block plus vulnerable, or five block plus weak. At minimum, so that's an incredible value for us if we can get it to come around uh to be honest with you if you're doing seven damage it's highly tempting to just do this we're gonna take no damage this guy's probably dead next turn and that's why i, I took sunder is because sunder plus necronomicon it uh, kind of seems like it's gonna get the job done yeah that was like a dream come true we should have played our alchemizers i just got, I got caught up in the moment bag of marbles is extremely great uh, I think we'll just go charge battery, honestly. I'm, I'm protecting the perfects right now. Meat on the bone is irrelevant. Starting to stack up a few too many curses, I think, but I think we got something going on here. I really don't mind you. Uh, like, it, we might take Sneko's Eye if it showed up as an option. Because it would make some more attacks cost two, which would be great for us. Um... Try a sweeping beam. Some draw might be important here. And honestly, like, I don't feel the need to rest. I just don't think that resting is necessary here. I hate our potion loadout, by the way. But hopefully we'll get some more early. Like, we definitely, we know we want this. We know we want this. Um, we'll hit you with that. We'll definitely play this. We can always roll this over, but I think I'm going to shoot for the moon. Give me some more. Now, unfortunately... Uh, well, if curses don't count, I didn't ruin my perfect, but it happens. Again, you're kind of like, if you could do 60 damage twice, wouldn't you rather do that? But I opted against it. Okay, Sunder, it turns out, pretty solid. We're going to lose 1 HP, which also doesn't kill our perfect. This guy is toast. Like, he's actually in a terrible spot. I do want to get Melter back as soon as... Or not Melter, uh... Sunder back as soon as possible. Oh, wow, wow. At least we're not going to get, uh... Shamed here. But we are going to get everything else. And you're doing 36 damage. I mean, Ritual Dagger is 37 damage. 
I can't quite get you there. 15 plus 37. It's not going to get you. Thirty-seven. We're not gonna take damage. I thought about using the block. Uh, I'm glad we don't have to. He's no longer vulnerable. But we can maybe change that. Uh, this turn is pretty terrible, though. We don't need to worry about his vulnerability. Just hold it like this. Forty damage. Okay, starting to get a little little spotty. Melter, you're obviously gonna play it, but. Throw in the vulnerability first. 28. 15. Okay. Alchemize. Extra focus. Takes us up to 12 block. He's not going to die. That's unfortunate. You know what? 24. We're going to take damage. It's not even worth popping the block potion. We still would have taken damage. So why... Uh, why throw the potion away? A little disappointing. We probably could have jumped on him a little faster. One more attack might have changed everything there. Didn't even think about it, but Meteor Strike is a fantastic choice. We're not really like in an orb slot sort of situation, you know what I mean? I'll gain extra energy even though I don't think we need it. Especially not without more draw. But uh, yeah, with uh, Necronomicon, we for sure want to take Meteor Strike. It's like one, two, one, two. Easy enough. We're going to hope that we get to drink and remove all curses from our deck because the six strength that we have is not really necessary for our purposes. It's helpful, sort of. I will take the madness because I do not want more curses. I will pay three gold for this. I know you're like, why not take the curses? You get more points. You ever hear the expression, points aren't everything? Probably not, because I just made it up. We still need to pop both if we want to take none. And I really, really do want to take none. Okay, Sunder or Meteor Strike, please. We can still get Sunder or Meteor Strike. Sunder or Meteor Strike, please? I guess it wouldn't matter here. But we will Meteor Strike. Glacier. Unfortunately, Glacier is just going to give us free energy that we can't use. But it is also going to give us enough block to take no damage. And now we're going to have 7 energy per turn because of the Plasma. Smack him. Uh, smack him. How are we going to get you? Uh, something like this, and then two good attacks. Here's the thing. One of these days, you're going to get gotten. It isn't today. But one of these days, dude, that 21 HP is coming down. Melted. Love it. Um, madness hits Alchemize. Amazing. So we're going to take some damage. No, we're not. Oh, we did. We took one HP from Regret, but... All I need is an attack. Turns out, we might have too few attacks. Every turn, we're getting four blocks, one attack. Very few of our attacks hit multiple enemies, maybe none. He's totally done here. Um, I don't think we need the poison. I think we like the other ones. And max HP is just ridiculous now. Okay, bottled lightning. What do we want to start with? As much as I hate to say it, like an upgraded cool headed for extra draw helps get over the fact that we have innate curses and give us maybe some combos in hand. I'm hoping at least. So like beam cell. This is an elite. It would be very nice to take no damage here. Claw. Defend. Defend. 22 damage. We're taking some damage. That's, you know, you just got to accept you're going to... The world don't move to the beat of just one drum. You could kill them if you're smart. Take some damage if you're dumb. We're still gonna take a little here. Dude, give me a, a unceasing top might not be the right call. But something in that vein. You know, something with combo potential. Gremlin Horn is combo potential. Um, trying to think of what else. You know, Dead Branch is combo potential. I'm kind of, you know, 
slow in my uh, roll here because I already know we didn't get it, but still. If we could get it at some point, I'd be a happy man. Let's draw two. It's going to be hard to tell where we stand today just because uh, we're doing it so early. But I think we've done... I, I'd give us like a B. Not a B minus. Not a B plus. Just a B. Not a bad performance today, but... Not quite as good as I would like. I think we built in a fun way, though. It is an easy daily, though. Just trying to see. If I'm going to take damage... I would rather not take damage and do an Entropic Brew. See if we can get out of it. 18. We're still going to take damage. Hmm. Are we still, still going to take damage? That's not a whole heck of a lot of block, thanks to Frailty. Ugh. We're taking 14. We might have to rest. That's like a dirty word. Go for the eyes for certain. Okay. One more curse. Matrushka. Uh, so unlikely to be useful. You know what? We have 92 HP. I wouldn't worry too much about it yet. You can always rest before the end. Okay. Uh, remove a card from my deck. Remove a card from my deck. I beg of you, sir. Remove a card from my deck. Thank you so much. What's funny is that secondarily, I'd be like, mm, maybe give me a curse. Remove an innate curse. Oh, dude, pain is also horrible. Um, I think I would rather remove pain from my library. Okay. <laughs> Immediately add decay. Omamori shows up at, like, the last possible opportunity. On the bright side, we got some value out of Matrushka, which is very unexpected. So remember, you have time dilation. I don't mind that. Sir, it doesn't buff um, Ritual Dagger, but what does that mean for us right now? It means literally nothing. Because that's just two extra damage on the final boss. Big whoop. Okay. Try Alchemize. We're definitely going to take damage. We did quite a lot, though. Yeah, we have no choice, but we're going to have to rest uh, for our for our boss fight. And I think that's okay. We just got to accept that that's the way the cookie crumbles. Our deck never really... I guess, to be honest with you, you know what it needed? Unfortunately. Um, don't use Madness, because if it makes this cost zero, it gets worse. I know, it's weird. What I was going to say is uh, we needed an all for one. And I mean, you're probably saying, no, duh. You would be right. That's a no, duh situation. We built our whole deck around this card. And then when I uh, talked about it, I was like, I'm not building the deck around that card. And eh, me thinks the lady doth protest too much. How are we doing this? Start with this. Okay. Do it again. Love electrodynamics here. You're doing seven damage. We got seven block. What, a, what an interesting coincidence. Love it. Uh, just keep those lightning out of the front so a dual cast could, like, really wreck face. Without us needing to worry about it. Cold Snap is it's too dangerous. At least to start with. Beautiful. Perhaps I can kill this guy without being killed myself. Or at least hurt myself. Remember, there used to be a day we thought these guys were the worst enemy in the game. And by we, I mean me. Much to the protestations of chat. <laughs> uh, that won't be necessary. We will rest. I know we have 89 HP, but better safe than sorry. We played no powers. This guy's like, y'all, I can't wait for you to drop your buffers. Sorry, bud. Didn't take him. Is there even a Meteor Strike in this deck? We, it never shows up. Maybe it never gets a chance. Okay, yes. Even though I don't think anybody debuffs me here. We can use it on, like, a steroid potion or something. Okay. 17 damage. We we have a chance, a genuine chance at a perfect. I 
I was probably gonna play Glacier anyway. Ah, if we ice you. Okay, yeah, yeah. This looks fine to me. Ah, oh, it blocked weakness. That's still a pretty good value, I'd say. 17 damage. We got six block already. All right, let's start with Beam Cell. Go for the eyes. 17 damage. Madness hits Alchemize. That's fine. I'd like to draw, please. Uh, without any draw, I will just play Leap. And then Reinforced Body for 700 block we do not need. 24 damage. Uh, we'll start there. Wow. <laughs> that's a slap in the face. No matter how you slice it, that's the game telling us to frig off. You know what, game? You frig off. That frailty is actually a little dangerous, but this guy's not getting any stronger anytime soon. Unfortunately, that's our damage. We tried. We're just like slightly below the curve in just about every conceivable fashion on this run. Still, you know, if I can pride myself on anything, Sunder was a great pickup. Hey, Meteor Strike actually exists. That's a new one. We might as well pass. Uh, we have nine energy for this turn. A little absurd. Another eight energy. I gotta think. Alchemize for sure. Okay, the vulnerability is super nice. And Claw, Ritual Dagger. There's no point in waiting on it, obviously. Dude, honestly, I think you'd waste the energy by playing Electrodynamics. We're not going to use 9 energy per turn anyway. As much as I hate to say it, having this extra Lightning out there might make all the difference. Because it's, it's starting to become a little bit more of a dangerous fight. I really... He's got 4 turns of Vulnerability. Let's give him more turns of Weakness. He's not killing me this turn, which is the most important thing, I think. Alright. It looks like we're probably going to beat him. If our HP ever passes the bosses, you know you're in a pretty good spot. But then he passed me again. That's alright. He's done. Alright. It didn't go amazing at the end, but life goes on. 1185. There were some 1200 scores, so already we know we're not going to be first. We only got one perfect. But not bad. We're 35th after an hour. It's a little low, admittedly. Do we have uh, the, the usual suspects? A couple. Slinky. Who's the number one? Not Isaac, baby! And NL Arzakon. 1500. Houseway. For now, though, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It was a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Thanks for watching. Maybe some Ascension next time. See you later.